EA Sports, and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Eastern Nevada and Wolf Creek Golf Club, it's live second round coverage of the Desert Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, That one looking good. It's in the fairway here to start round two. Two shots around this green is always good. Now, for a little Civi S, perhaps a third shot on this par five, get one close, maybe make four. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday and a chance for another one today. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And she'll remain at nine over par. Frank, you need to be a bit of a rock climber just to get to this second tee, 445-yard hole. What a view. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze.
And this will be a five foot putt here. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And her score's gonna stay right where it is. All right, Frank, describe the third hole. Well, it's a par three with a bit of a tabletop green, Rich. Um, some bunkers right and left of that, but uh, also it's going to play a little bit further. Uh, this tee shot is uphill, unlike the uh, opening two holes. So a three here, and that certainly won't hurt the uh, scorecard. And the uphill shot there, difficult to judge, and that will wind up short. Now, from below the green, a second up to this par three. Mistaking that one, that is a good par here at the third. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Coming now to the 383-yard par four fourth, severe dog leg right. Fairway wood or hybrid off the tee might be the play here. Just make sure you avoid the series of bunkers on the right. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Now the approach here at the fourth, Frank. Just a short iron it really is all that's required across the screen. You can see it has a raised front, uh, but this is more like trying to parachute a shot onto the green there. 
and uh, should really be looking at a birdie opportunity there. Not much wind, remember you're playing in the thin air, so just judging that distance. This could be a good one. And maybe a little too pumped up there. That just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. At that time, pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and her score is going to stay right where it is. This is one of the signature holes here at Wolf Creek. Our 5 fifth is 490 yards, and you can get home in two and maybe have a story to tell when you're all done. Maybe an Eagle 3. That tee shot chewed off an enormous amount on this par five. Easily reachable for two now. Now from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. This is an excellent hole here at Wolf Creek, the par 4-6, 447 yards. If you're going to hit driver off the tee, keep in mind there is a creek out there, and that approach is uphill to a hard green. This hole's all you want. This started toward the left side. No fairway here, this one in that rough. Second shot straight ahead and we go to Iona Steven. Just a flick left, 123 is the number. Ball sitting in the rough, needs to be careful of that flyer.
This one's looking good. And more evidence why the Corn Ferry Tour is such a great breeding ground. The iron play like that is good enough for any PGA Tour event. Oh my, that singes the right edge, but doesn't go down. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And she'll remain seven over for the tournament. Onward to the short but really fun seven, 302 yard par for hybrid or fairway wood off the tee should get you over a ridge that rolls downhill, leaving a short iron over a creek to the green. And this, not the longest hole players would encounter, so just an iron off the tee, and it works out to perfection. Uh, some troubles on this hole, but that is a pretty sporty shot right there. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seventh. And she'll fall even further here to eight over par. Frank, the par three eight really is Wolf Creek in a nutshell. It's hard and it's really pretty. It is, and it's really long too. Uh, just under 250 yards off that back tee. Slight bit of elevation, but uh, you can see from the tee, obviously, where you don't want to go and where you do go. Um, if you're a little, uh, well, tender of heart, then aim for the right side and avoid all that water down the left. Starting right, got to be careful over there. Well, you really hate that, don't you? You hit the ball well, came off the club face solid, but a little too long and into the hazard beyond the green. Tough break.
That's going to scoot a foot or two by. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And her slide continues. She'll drop to nine over par. Stepping up to the shot here at the ninth, it's a par four, 390 yards. It is anything other than straight off the tee because all these sort of undulations and curvature on the fairway. Uh, you'd think well bunk it, but the last bunker on the right side there, longer hitters, they can nearly fly that just over 300 yards. Uh, either that shorter hitter just played that fat area of the green. That'll be sort of some, uh, you know, 270 yards that will take all the water out of play into a green that slopes back at you. Uh, so very good chance, even with a wedge in hand, to get the ball close. A good way to finish the front nine. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Oh, never in doubt. What a great putt that is. It's a birdie here at the ninth. Yeah, that will mean it's a front nine score of 35, one under par. Starting the backside here at Wolf Creek with a 472-yard par 4 tenth. One of the rare, relatively flat tee shots. Lake and bunkers on the left, brush on the right. But the landing area is wider than it looks, so anywhere on the short stuff is good. Ah, uh, solid, a good drive in the fairway. Frank, uphill shot, what did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Nice approach shot, in. and the other good thing about that, left it below the hole. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. So that's in for par to start this backside. And that's going to keep her at plus eight. On to the 11th hole, we're looking downhill, 215 yards to the green. And this is one of the holes that uh, you realize you're at Wolf Creek. You would never see this hole anywhere else in the world. It's amazing when you stand on this tee. You see all of the canyons around, but there is a little green area down there. Uh, with surrounded by a couple of bunkers. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking par three. It measures 215 yards, very playable. And you never know, today might be the day where you make it.
And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. This is a nine footer. Hmm, didn't trust the read there, and that's going to cost him. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. And that will not help the cause. This is an exciting hole. 560 yard par 5, 12. There is water down the left side of the fairway and right of the green. If you keep it dry, keep it in play off the tee, well, then you absolutely have a chance to get home in two and spark some fireworks. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Nothing to it. It's a birdie here at 12. And she'll get it back to eight over now for the tournament. Now to the 13th hole and, oh, I don't know, should we just fly it over the mountains, Frank? <laughs> it looks like that, uh, but then you better find dry land. 350 yards, but as the crow flies, it's probably just a little over 300 yards. I don't know if the mere mortals would really want to flash it across that desert ridge. Um, you probably want to play a little left of it, have a little pitch up the hill, but if you're one of the longer hitters, why not just try it and see if you can make it? And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer.
That's a really solid shot. Smack bang into the middle of the green. She should be happy. A birdie opportunity here at 13. Yeah, we're going back up this incline from right to left. This is all about pace. You've got to give it a good wallop. No, didn't quite give that enough. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. Frank, describe the layout here at the 14th hole. It's 444 yards, and what a beautiful hole. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on, a, on, a, on something in the, dif in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. This one, not for the faint of heart. Down a big slope, though it is for birdie. Oh, do that. What a roll that was. A long one in for Birdie. And she's going to get it back to plus seven for the tournament. Now to the par three 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. Frank, this is the shortest hole on the course. And their version of the postage stamp type hole, minus the bunkers on the right side. The green elevated falls off, as you can see, down the left side. The club selection is vital, but it is such a short hole. It's very, very tempting, especially when that flag's on the left side to still go at it. But you miss this green on the left, and you are going to be considerably lower than the level of this green. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And her score's gonna stay right where it is. Now to the 16th hole, and Frank, another good scoring chance. If you can avoid the confusion off the tee, it looks like the hole might be a dog leg, then is it a carry? 
and it meanders from one way to the other. But really, when you actually break the hole down, it's virtually straight ahead. Those two bunkers uh, in the driving distance, they frame the hole nicely, so play it as a straightaway par four. It should set up beautifully for just a little short iron and perhaps a birdie opportunity. Yeah, that's a beautiful tee shot. Now watch this go. It's going to trundle right on down the slope. So after the big drive, this, a short approach to the par four. Fourteen feet to the hole. Oh, yes! On your pace to get up that slope, it is in for a birdie. Well, put a little pep in your step. Now to the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left, tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still gonna be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's gonna leave a lengthy second shot and you've got to get the distance right on the button. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. What a good shot that is, homing two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. No, nope. that needed a little more pace to really let the slope do its thing, and that one comes up short. Here we go, seven-footer for birdie. Yes, some good playing here toward the end of the round. Birdie's at 16 and 17. 
and she'll get it back to five over for the tournament. Finishing holding her at Wolf Creek is only 307 yards. Frank, where's the trouble here? Uh, short and to the right of this par four. Really, there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but uh, you know that's a little too risky. There's too many, uh, too many problems up ahead if you try and take this hole on. Really a short club off the tee, um, leaving yourself some area of 170 yards, and, and you're going to be putting for birdie more often than not. That one going to be into the bunker off the tee. Looking for a rousing finish, a second out of the sand at 18. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with Birdie still in play. Nope, not enough. Needed to get that a little further out to the right. Okay, so that will wind up a par at the last. So that's where this tourney will end for our featured golfer. Their two-round score falling outside the cut line. And if you focus on anything other than that, then you're doing yourself a disservice. It happens. Believe me. Move on. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay III, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports P. Thank you.